Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you are doing well. Now in this video, what we will be doing uh, as we have already done the integration of Jenkins with SonarCube. Now we will create the pipeline, and with the help of this pipeline, my SonarCube will scan my all the code and give me the report. What are the vulnerabilities? What is the bugs are in my code? So the first thing is you have to go to my GitHub and see that my github id is imdk coder you have to search here and this uh, in this repository you have to search this cic sorry this scanner not scanner sorry guys so the thing is cicd pipeline right so now the next thing is you have to, in your uh, where is your code so let's say i will create one new Folder. Mm. Okay, let's create one folder. Give me match DK code. And in this folder, what you have to do? You have to create one file. The new the text file. Okay. So in this text file, again go to my GitHub, and in this you will see the Sonar Project dot properties. Copy the Sonar Project dot properties. Control C, and again go to this. This my txt file. Okay, now paste it. Now instead of this Deepak Project One, you can give your name. Let's say your name and then project anything if you do only dk that is fine agar dk bhi doge to bhi chalega dk ke doge to bhi chalega 1 2 3 doge to bhi chalega no problem dk ke 1 2 3 and then again the project name i will give dk ke 1 2 3 and now file save as the file name should be sonar hyphen project dot properties see this sonar project dot properties the same name as the same name as this folder okay so this file you have to give the name now the next thing is you have to create one so uh, in this experiment i will be scanning the python file with the help of the sonar cube so the my sample file is this here i have done only print hello world but instead of this what i will do uh, just search anything like sample sample python code let's say it is having Python program to check prime number. I will copy this. Okay, I will be copying this and then so this is not the thing. From save. Hmm. Now again go to this folder. Delete. Create new file. See this new file that is my txt. And I will rename it as so control V. I have pasted it code and in the file save as I will give name as uh, prime dot pi. Okay, prime dot pi python file. Fair enough. Then delete this new text document dot txt. Okay, I have made my folder sonar project dot properties. I have added my code, have, I have added now then the next thing is you have to go here where mm -hmm. git bash here you have to initialize it you have to all the file you have to add all the file you have to commit these files commit hyphen m added now the next thing is go to the github 
go to your github your profile and in there uh, there is one uh, plus icon new repository give a name as sonar scanner anything you can give i have given sonar scanner create repository copy this link so copy this command paste here git remote add origin that is uh, i have to assign a name to my this github uh, repository so i have assigned it origin okay the command is git push hyphen u origin master okay it has been successfully added let's check it whether it is added or not okay we are good to go now open your this uh, jenkins and your ubuntu okay so for jenkins the local host tat okay so here what you have to do you have to create one uh, new job so the new and here you have to select this pipeline and give an image my first anything you can my first pipe line i'll give an image my first pipeline you have to select this okay scroll down scroll down scroll down and in the pipeline script what you have to add is go to my github repository in my github repository there is one folder cicd pipeline here and in that there is pipeline.txt you have to copy all this control c and then control v that is paste okay but guys uh, uh, before uh, saving or applying i will explain it uh, one by one so this is a pipeline agent is the, see that uh, in jenkins there are master and slave architecture so uh, till now i do not have any slaves so our agent will be the any and there are stages okay in the stages there is one more stage the git uh, okay so there are three stages i have defined the git checkout the unit test and then sonar publish so what does this git checkout will do it will search this repository okay so in my case in your case what you have to do the repository you have created just now you have created so which is nothing but mm -hmm. it's taking load Huh. The just now I have created this repository. You have to select this code, copy this command, uh, copy this HTTPS line, and then go to your uh, this uh, Jenkins, and ins inside this URL you have to paste your link. Okay, done here. The Git branch is master. In your case, it might be main branch. So how to check it? you have to check here if it is main then you have to give main if it is master then you have to give master done now the scroll down then unit test now you can see guys uh, i have uh, run this python file okay so instead of this uh, as my file name was dkcode.py but here what i have given my file name is prime.py so i will edit as see this i think you can now see prime dot pi now it is okay now this stage is sonar publish with sonar cube environment sonar cube that is our we have already configured right and then it will search for the scanner home tool okay in the last video we have configured the sonar cube and the sonar uh, scanner home but guys before uh, doing this what you have to ch check whether git is installed in not so how to check it in your terminal git hyphen hyphen version 
if it is not then sudo apt get uh, something like this command is there okay so this is how we install git and then you have to again check this version and you are good to go and then uh, it is saying there is an error that means where it is error okay so i think uh, i have not selected correctly so once again i will go here in the my scanner file or in the cicd pipeline cicd so now uh, this pipeline.txt raw select all control c and here again control all and then control v again i have to make changes such as my the uh, my file name and the name of my repository which is sonar scanner so this is my repository name and then i have to apply and then save now guys you have to uh, click on this build now let's see whether it is building successfully or not okay it is building git checkout unit test sonar publish okay so git checkout has happened successfully okay so uh, it has been successfully run okay now the thing is we have to check uh, what has been generated right so go to our sonar cube that is my local host what is the report i have to check it local host 9000 you have to enter the username and password uh, and me and the password okay so you can see here the dkk123 project i have created right select it here see that zero bugs zero volume because it was very simple okay there is uh, nothing to worry so more activity let's say code <laughs> lines of codes are 11 zero bug zero coverage duplications are there pretty hotspots majors okay then size was line of code lines 25 statement 10 you can see here function 0 classes 0 files 1 comment lines are 9 comments are 45 percent uh, out of all this so depending on see that my file was very simple therefore it haven't generated but in but in actual scenario in real life uh, world there are 50,000 one lakhs of lines are there and there are many security vulnerabilities and bugs are there so uh, this two this open source tools are is very helpful and i think uh, your uh, experience has uh, done just like me so if you have succeed with this please do like this video share with your friend and please do subscribe to my channel i will meet you in the next video till then goodbye